Hi all and welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and our video user guide for APT where this time we'll be taking a look at APT's interaction with various planetarium software that's out there. Uh, currently APT supports Carts to CL, CDC, Computer Aided Astronomy, C2A, Skytech X, Hello Northern Sky or HN Sky and Stellarium. Um, now in this one you're going to see me working with Stellarium because that's what I use mostly um, simply because I've been using it for so long and I've got it configured to work how I want it to work but I probably will one day have a look at some of these others simply because there is a little bit more functionality in uh, the likes of CDC and HN Sky that maybe I might find useful I don't know about that yet um, I've done a pre-install series where I've covered setting up Stellarium to allow your uh, APT to be able to connect with it and use it. Um, so you might want to have a look at that if you haven't already. Um, but the basic principles behind setting them up are all the same so that shouldn't be a problem there. But let's get right into this and have a look at what we can do with it. Now I've done a couple of videos on setting up Stellarium to allow other programs to connect and control it. Um, if you haven't seen them I'll link them up the top here and you can go take a look if you want to. While it is Stellarium the principles behind it are the same for whatever planetarium software you're using. So once you've got it configured and you get it up and running because it needs to be running for APT to connect to it uh, you simply need to go into APT settings across to the planetarium tab and choose whatever one you're using um, generally the defaults they have for these settings are fine now if you're not running it on your local computer you'll have to enter the right um, IP address but uh, generally they'll work fine with the defaults if it's installed on the same computer the only one is, is, is CDC you might need to set the correct port number for it um, Stellarium has a couple of extra settings here and that's to do with the sensor and telescope settings in Stellarium uh, they number them from 0 upwards so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 etc depending how many you have and if you set them in here um, APT when it connects to them um, and you go look at an object through APT in them it will actually switch it to these particular sensor and telescope just a note for 4.30 users that zero for some reason hasn't been working um, Ivo's now fixed that in the latest pre-release version which came out today and uh, so by 4.40 when it comes out um, everyone will be able to use that properly but that's just how you connect it there um, once connected APT can do various different things so we'll go take a look at exactly what you can do with it So APT can import and export various bits of data from your planetarium um, in PointCraft. Once you've solved an image you can use show button in there and it'll go to that particular object in your planetarium. Uh, same sort of thing in your object browser, uh, your to do, custom, stars and deep sky lists do the same thing when you hit the show button. and. Uh, in the object calculator if you hold down shift click, click on the recalc button it won't go to the particular object but it will show where your mount is currently pointing in the sky uh, so that's something you can do there and in importing in point craft uh, you have the two object buttons one for your solving and one for your go to plus plus um, shift clicking on them will bring the coordinates from your browse from your planetarium into the particular box that needs to be filled in um, which is helpful for getting it all going in the gear tab if you shift click on an, on the object it again will load the RA and deck as required into the go to boxes um, now if your planetarium supports it on the custom tab and to do tab in your object browsers when you're doing a new object uh, you're editing or creating a new object in there if you get on the catch RA and deck angle um, it will populate the RA and deck from the planetarium program and for CDC uh, 
in the selected, it will use the selected object name, will be imported into APT as well in the camera tab, the custom to do tab, and the object browser. So that's just a couple of the things it does. And now we'll just quickly run through and show you how it all does it all. So. Okay, so I think we'll start by having a look at uh, what can be done in PointCraft. Uh, there's several areas this will work for you is if you uh, are near an object um, I've got uh, Stellarium currently set up just off what the target is that I've got in here um, so I go back to APT and if I hold down shift click on the object button here it will load the data from Stellarium into the approximate places and then I can hit on solve and it will solve this image it uh, should only take a second. There you go, solved in one second. Um, and once you've done that, what you can do, as, as I said down here, it's not exactly set on uh, right on the target as you see there. But I go show and then go back and it's right on target. So that's what you can do in there. Um, additionally, it does the same basically as you've got down here. Uh, you shift click on it, it will load the coordinates currently in there, and you can go to those coordinates who go to plus plus. But that's what you can do in Planetarium. Um, for your gear tab, again, shift clicking on the uh, object browser will load in the coordinates from there. Um, so that works that way. Uh, another way to go is into your object browser itself and again you have the um, various show uh, I'll go somewhere else uh, something interesting Centaurus A or something I don't know uh, we'll just uh, what's uh, C77 Centaurus A there it is so in there again the show uh, back into Stellarium and it's showing Centaurus A. Now just one thing with this is if you're using an angle um, I'll have, that's actually when I get into the next part so I'll wait that for that for a second so back into APT so that's how it works in there. Um, what else can we do in here? In the uh, works the same way in the stars if I went to there and same with your custom and to-do lists when you're editing or adding a new uh, so if I want to add a new one and I want it to be Centaurus A uh, not the get scope position but the catch and what that'll do that'll import the uh, details from your uh, planetarium into here and with the camera angle there um, depending on how you angle the the camera um, so I'll get back into Stellarium and set that up at zero so there's no rotation as you can see it's just off here yeah. quite interesting but um, I'll click on Centaurus A get back onto it um, so back into APT when I go to catch it changes the angle to match the angle you've got in there so that's one way to do it um, I'm not going to save that so click cancel and yes um, and again when you go to your tools tab uh, down the bottom into object calculator uh, shift clicking on your recalc button will actually show you your current field of view in Stellarium so that's something else it can do so if I go back to Stellarium here it's actually pointing my mounts parked at home so it's pointing at the south celestial pole basically and that's what gets shown there now what else can we do um, okay so what else we can do is uh, while I'll switch back into APT again um, with the object browser open um, let's go have a look uh, if you're using CDC and you've got your custom or to-do list going on um, and you when you set the uh, coordinates here it will also add that to the, the object name and everything from CDC both here in your camera tab and wherever else it's required your gear tab as well I think as well it does it so that's just an extra with CDC it just adds the object name uh, 
do you want to continue yes I don't want to save that uh, just one more thing with oh, I need to get back into the object browser after I just closed it just one more thing with uh, CDC and HN Sky I think um, when you're importing um, both CDC oh, C2A you can get a saved list from it an Im a viewing list uh, CDC you get an object list an observing list you can get single frames and mosaics from it uh, for importing and for uh, HN Sky you can import mosaic frames as well so that's just something a bit extra for some of them they can they can create these lists and then you can import them into your to-do or your custom list and I think that might be about all to cover for this um, just let me double check just a sec yeah that's really about all you get with this um, like I said it works well and it's quite handy to have um, so not much else you can do with it um, if you have any questions let me know but uh, for now I'll just leave it at this and uh, see you in the next video uh, clear skies everyone and chat to you later bye